A local priest is silenced and threatened with arrest by the Pensacola City Council president when the priest shows up to voice his concerns. Fox 10's Corey Pippin spoke to Father Nathan Monk as well as the City Council about the conflict. You don't have the right to determine what type of speech people are going to have when they are addressing their government for a redress of grievances. This was Father Nathan Monk at the Pensacola City Council meeting Thursday, intending to voice his opinion to the council. Instead, this happened. It was a sick and gross abuse of power. And what you, is it? Your, your, your time is up, sit down. Thank you. No, no, I have a minute and 12 seconds I, left. I, I'm ruling you out of order. Well, I am, I am absolutely within order. That was Council President Sam Hall revoking Monk's right to speak and threatening him with arrest. Monk says he showed up to express his concern that three people who voiced their opinion on a proposed city ordinance were escorted from a meeting Monday. The city council vows an oath, and in that oath they promise two things, to protect the Constitution of the United States of America and the Constitution of the state of Florida. And I believe that he violated his singular oath uh, by stripping people of their right to speak. I have a constitutional right to be here. I have 50, 49 seconds left. Monk waited until his time was up before stepping down, risking arrest. And I felt like I couldn't step down because, you know, a lot of people have fought and died not just soldiers, but people like Dr. King and others have fought and died in our country so that we have the right to be able to stand firm and speak what we believe. And I felt like I would be dishonoring those people if I were to have stood down at that moment. Now the video of Monk's conflict, which has been posted on YouTube by PensacolaDigest.com, is causing a big stir. The conflict has divided members of the council. Councilman Larry Johnson supports Hall's decision. Everyone has a right to express themselves, and we're not trying to stop anyone from expressing themselves, as long as they do it with respect. Councilwoman Sherry Myers supports Monk, and even walked out of the meeting. It is not acceptable to me. I will not tolerate it, and I will speak out against it and do everything I can to ensure that every citizen's rights, while I'm on that council, and even if I'm not on that council, is protected. In Pensacola, Corey Pippen, Fox 10 News. Okay, thank you. Now, council President Sam Hall just issued a statement a couple of minutes ago saying on Thursday evening when Reverend Monk began to defend the citizens you were hearing about, says he ruled him out of order, keeping with the rules and procedures of the city council. He adds, perhaps I was hasty in that judgment, but as council president, it's my job to protect order and decorum for the citizens and the fellow members of the council, and I make no apologies, he says for setting a higher expectation for our civil discourse in Pensacola. If you'd like to see that entire video of the incident during the city council meeting, we've posted a link on our website, fox10tv.com.